Hi guys, welcome to this next planner flip through. Um, yes, I have a bunch of planners ready to rock and roll for 2023. Um, this is the next one that we're going to have a look at. It's a horizontal layout, classic size again. I love classic size. And it goes from January to December 2023. And it's from the gorgeous Butterfly and Bloom collection. I love butterflies. Um, so you get plastic rose gold discs with this planner. And we'll have a look at the covers next. So you have this gorgeousness as your cover. It has like rose gold foil elements on it. Not sure if the camera will pick that up. And then of course you've got just floral and butterflies. And the words say anything is possible. It's just a bit of sticky stuff I think. From the gel layers. I hope you've got some stuff on it. <clears throat> the inside is gorgeous. Look at that. Could definitely change a couple for sure um and then on the back we have gorgeous butterflies and the happy planner reds and then the same as the inside on the front so that it says planner happy life so let's take a look see what we have in there um and yeah have a chant as well so this planner the reason why i've purchased this planner well firstly i love butterflies <laughs> as i mentioned but i um a couple of years back i think it was a couple of years back or it may have been the start of this year um, I actually think it was the year prior, to be honest. I really liked using horizontal layout as like a journal. Um, having it beside my bed and just, yeah, just journaling away. And um, I have really missed it, to be honest. I've tried a variety of things this year and none of them seem to, you know, continue on. So I'm happy to have this gorgeous planner for next year to get back into the journaling stuff properly. Okay, so this says stuff about your horizontal layout and then your happy planner socials. Then you have your gorgeous hello page where you put your name and so forth. And then you get your 2023, 2024, like, overview page. And then you get your perpetual calendar. When you journal, you can, like, put down your mood or you can, like, use it for, um, like, gratitude or something like that. Or if, how you felt each day. Um, there's lots of options that you can use that for. You get your um, currently page, a lot of people call this page. Um, you got a section for important date, goals and priorities and then you got this blank section here. In my main planner that I use, I use it just for like a monthly to-do list. Um, but for my journal, I'll have to think of something really really nice to um, put there maybe like a photo for the month or something we'll see <laughs> and then you get a gorgeous divider for January how pretty is that I could just sit and stare at that for hours <laughs> and then you go into your monthly spread this is quite neutral it does have little dots on the spine but from a distance you can't really tell that um with the monthly for my journal i'm not really sure how i'm going to use that i'll have to have a think 
of how to approach that one. <laughs> if you have any ideas, comment below. And then we go into our, our horizontal layout. Um, so you've got Monday through to Thursday, and then you've got Friday through to Sunday, and then like a night section on the bottom. Um, yeah, so that'll be really good. And then, yeah, it's just very neutral on each page. Oh, there's a quote down here. Do you remember what makes you happy? And then we get to the next one. From earth to sea to sky, may you learn to grow, to spin, to fly. Nice quote. And then you go into February and it'll be the the same situation so we'll just look at the dividers so yeah I'm really looking forward to having a journal again it's gonna be lovely um instead of having bits and pieces everywhere um yeah let your spirit soar and there's like a really good amount of room here to um to write which I like um, just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Beautiful. There is flailing on that. I'm not sure if you'll pick up on that. Um, what's our next divider? Some gorgeous butterflies. There's always something good. Those flowers are pretty. Stands out really nice on that dark colour too. Butterflies. True beauty blooms from the heart. You got some light for your dots around the floral there. And then anything is possible. But just the same quote as the cover, but a different butterfly. And the cover is three butterflies. In here is one butterfly. Let your soul and spirit fly. So pretty. Some foiling on that one too. Live in the moment. And December is that gorgeous floral design. Let's see what the note paper looks like. So there's butterfly there and there, and then it says notes, and you've got your lines. So, so gorgeous. So, I'm totally looking forward to my 2023 journaling in this planner. Of course, you could use it for normal planning as well. There's no reason why you can't like put a sticker on the side there and have your planning in there. Um, yeah. So, if horizontal is your way to go and you love butterflies and floral, then... Yeah, this is a definite for, for that. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you for joining me in this flip through and I'll see you in my next flip through. Um, which will be very, very soon. And thank you for watching all these videos. I greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe and thumbs up to be a part of my planning family and YouTube family. There is a bunch of other things on here as well. Um, so yeah, I'll see you very soon in my next video and happy planning everybody. Bye!